All right, so a lot of, I've been getting a lot of requests for the cave by Mumford & Sons from my students. Um, the first thing, you got to make sure that you have a capo if you want to play along with the original song, and you have to change the tuning. So the normal tuning is E, B, G, D, A, E, and the only way to remember it, every bad girl deserves an elephant, E, B, G, D, A, E. But for this song, we have to change, we have to do drop D tuning, so we have to change this uh, low E string to a D, and we need to change the G string to an F sharp. So of course the easiest way is just to use a tuner. I like to use this little tuner on the iPhone. It's called Clear Tune. It's like $4. Um, or you can go buy a tuner, but I wouldn't spend more than $20 on a tuner. So I already tuned mine to it. At the end of the lesson, I'll throw in how to tune it by ear yourself, if anyone's interested. Make sure I'm in good tuning. One thing too is when you put the capo on, sometimes it's good to retune your guitar. I'm not going to do it right now, it's going to be close enough, but if you're ever playing and you notice that you're not in that good tune, uh, you might need to just retune it once you put the capo on because it actually affects the tension on the strings. So the main riff is like this, right? So that's the main riff. The first thing you got to get down is this slide. I'll try to get my both hands in view here. So the slide, you want to slide from the second fret relative to the capo, from the second fret to the fourth fret. Now I would get in the habit of using your third finger because one of the most common feelings on guitar is this sort of slide. So you might as well get used to that and just it's just easy to pull it out whenever you need it. So you put your third finger on the D string second fret and you slide to the fourth fret. So before I would do anything else, I'd make sure I can do that. If you're new to sliding, don't stare at your finger when it's on the second fret, stare at the fourth fret. If you have experience or if you practice enough, you'll notice you don't need to even worry about it. You'll just slide to the right fret after you do it enough times. So it's from 2 to 4, and then you go back to the 2nd fret with your 1st finger, and then you hit open string, and then it opens the string. So it's 2 to 4, 2nd fret, open D string, open A string. Now I'm just getting really good at that, because the song is kind of fast, if you can't do this, that's actually the most technically challenging part of the song, aside from the actual picking. Do that over and over until you got it. So after that, then you just put your middle finger right there and you just go. Um, so it's two, second fret, open D string, open G string, open D string. So you do that twice. Then the easiest part of the song, no fingers. So that was the A string, D string, G string, back to the D string. And then you gotta do the slide again. So while you have something easy going on on guitar, it's always good to think about what's coming next. So some beginners I know is like take their hand away, or they'll put their hand in, under the guitar or in weird spots. Just keep it hovering so it's ready to go. So you got. So see, I'm I'm already like getting ready to do that when I have the open strings. So I attached the tab that I'm using, which is the best tab I found. So you can follow along with that. So here it is slow, so it's slide. And then right back to the slide. Two, two, zero. Now I just get super good at this, because the next part is just a variation, so you want to get good at this. Another thing I'm not going to get into in this in this video is if you practice the whole thing with down up alternate picking, you'll be able to do it a lot faster. Um, sometimes when I have to learn songs on the spot when I'm teaching, I won't worry about that. I mean, it's usually a habit, but sometimes I'll do weirder stuff just to get it going. So you don't have much time when you teach a lesson live with someone. But alternate picking is definitely improves your playing and makes you more constant. So. 
The next part of the song is basically a variation, so you do the first part exactly the same. And when you get to there, instead of going to the slide, you put your third finger on the fourth fret on the low E string. Then you gotta skip a string. So that was fourth fret, they skip the A string to the D string. And those are open G, D, and then open. And then don't forget these last two notes right here. So it's... And then at the end of the tab, this is the only spot I disagree. They say to do 5th fret on these two strings. And then open, but I think it sounds better if you do all three frets right here. So you can lay your 3rd finger there. To me that sounds more like what they're doing and it just sounds better. And then right after that, you go back to the slide. So here's the third part. So it's... So I'll do the first three parts, then we'll do the chorus part. Uh, I'm sorry I'm not breaking down exact, but I'm assuming you're going to look at the tab. And it takes a long time to say every fret number. So I'm trying to keep this hand visible and make sure it's more visible here so you can see it. Um, the only tricky thing is the third time through you got to do the string skipping where you skip the A string. But you'll see that clearly in the tab. But when you're trying to learn how to pick fast it can be a little bit of a challenge. But just go slow and you'll be able to get it. So You do the first part twice. tab myself but basically at the end of of that third of that variation that I just showed you where you do the bass notes then you're gonna go one two three four you're gonna do four a little palm muted just the bottom three strings so zero 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 now I think what helps with the chorus because there's a lot of singing going on it's hard to tell when to change chords is if you actually count. So it's going to go zeros four times. So zero, two, three, four, five, five, zero, zero. So if you follow along with the tab, it'll be easier. I'm just going to count one, two, three, four. And I'm either going to go open, fifth fret, seventh fret, ninth fret. And one thing that helps is to, since the dots are all messed up because of the capo, is to realize the ninth fret is actually on the eleventh fret, which is next to that dot. So I'm going to count, if you follow along with the tab, it starts out just the chorus part. I'm going to ignore the last four zeros of the section before it. And make sure you click on the link to this tab. This is the best tab that I could find. Some of them are definitely very wrong. So, you know, a lot of tabs, it's kind of an art finding the ones that work. But it's uh, one, two, three, four, 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 one, two. keep going one two three four but the other guitar gets into that section so I think if you can get to the sevens at the end it's not too bad so now I'm gonna do it without counting the rhythm I'll just say the numbers that you're supposed to be at um, so it goes ignoring the last palm mute of the riff before just starting the chorus section based on this tab here it's zero 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 zero, zero five five zero 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 Five five zero zero five five zero zero seven 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 nine 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 five five zero zero nine 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 five five zero zero five five zero zero seven 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 and you can keep going with the sevens because one guitar does the other one just cuts it off um, and then the rest of the song there's like a banjo part I wouldn't worry about that. It would be cool to play it on guitar, but it's pretty tricky and it's not in the tab and I don't want to figure that out because I don't love the song that much. But 
So here's the last thing is how to tune your guitar in case you don't want to have to use a tuner. So first of all, you need to learn how to tune your guitar in general, but let's... Assuming you can do that. So I just made that back to E, and I'll make this to G. perfect but here's how you do it assuming it's in normal tuning E B G D A E and the little mnemonic I use is every bad girl deserves an elephant that works well but what we want to do is tune this to low D so all you do is you hit this D and you hit this E but we gotta make it lower so what uh, this one's gotta be lower an octave lower but drop D tuning so common this is something you should learn how to do on electric or acoustic There we go. That's good practice then to get it back, you do the two E's, so I'll do it one more time. Now it's E. I'm back to D, so I pinch the D's instead. And then this one, we need, you need to make the G string into an F sharp, so all you do is you put your finger on the fourth fret, which is F sharp. This is on the D string, so D, D sharp, E, F, F sharp. So D, D sharp would be here, the first fret on the D string, E, F, F sharp, and then you play that F sharp on the D string, and then we have to make the G string lower by a half step to match it up, so, whoops. Some people like to reach over and grab it, I don't like to do that, I just play it, and then go tune it, and then check it again. That's pretty close. So basically what this tuning is, it's sort of an open D tuning. Especially if you tune this to A, or some tabs say to do, and this to D. But because we weren't using those strings, I wouldn't worry about it. Um, and then you put the capo on. So learning how to tune your guitar to these weird tunings is kind of a pain if you're a beginner. But it's worth, it's worth doing it, because you'll learn more about how the guitar is organized. You won't feel like an idiot when you have to tune on the spot, and you don't have a tuner available. So I recommend learning how to do it. Hope this lesson was helpful. If you have any requests... Just send me a message at how to make up guitar riffs. Thanks, bye.